let's imagine this shit. I was buying Ethereum for eighty dollars, and it went to four grand. Four fucking grand. That's unbelievable. So uh, we were like, uh, so imagine you got fifty, a hundred, three hundred, five hundred of these chiclets. Chiclets, Steve. They're like uh-huh. chiclets, and they're like, oh, man, fuck, I'll, I'll buy a fucking five bubblegum fucking rock. Why not? Yeah. Who cares? It's only it's only fucking. I'm spending five hundred bucks. Then you turn around, and you're like, yo, that was twenty grand. Yeah. I, did I just buy a twenty thousand dollar rock? Right. Am I retarded? Yeah. And then, and like, and then the same thing with these influencers because like they also have like in, like like I I mean I, I mean well, I can't say names fuck but like, like there was influencers asking us for advice and stuff like that yep. and that we can't say there's some big million subscriber yeah. influencers that asking us for advice and um, or like hey what would you do and stuff with this and this and they got into Ethereum and these coins really early and then we saw some of these people buy NFTs yeah Un, not under our advice our advice like we stay we 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 were not in the NFT thing we are into the now because this is a good time to be buying starting to like like little pepper shots but not like nothing crazy nothing no more crazy. apes no more apes well if you got an ape cheap enough but like th- th- that was a whole i mean allegedly this was a whole thing kind of orchestrated by gary vanderchuk there's like there's like entire things about it where like he basically organized a bunch of billionaires and a bunch of these celebrity dudes and then a ton of these like you know jake paul guys and all this stuff to get it to buy these apes and then pump them the fuck up. And there's there's videos you can go, go look it up. There's entire things where like the guys were explaining like, oh yeah, Gary just had us on the phone and he told us to buy these apes. We're on a call with a bunch of billionaires. Imagine you're on a video call with like 300 people and everyone in there is worth millions or has millions of followers, and we're shocked this thing went to like where it went. It was a it was a planned it was right. a planned pump. Wow. A very organized planned pump. And dump. Yeah. The only thing is like only a few people in the group got told when. Like they all got told, but some of these celebrity, the guys more at the bottom, still like, wow, we're up a lot. But then they didn't know when to sell. Right. Right. And and then from there, since they were up, they knew a little bit. Hey, buddy's getting to this, and then it started this whole cascade, and then that's how we got to that price. Now I'm simple. I'm simple. Uh, that's a very simple version of the story, but that's kind yeah. of that's really one of the reasons why this kind of happened. But imagine, you have these little chick. You have these little like hundred dollar like little buttons that go to four thousand dollars. You made forty times on your money. And then you're spending it like they're still a hundred dollars, hundred dollar right. chips, and right. that's what and that's what happens in crypto. Yeah. So in, in you know you, were, you were, Ray, Ronald Reagan was like you know um, trickle down economics. Yep. It's there's like twenty percent of that's true, at, maybe forty percent is true, and but it's kind of bullshit, right? Mm-hmm. In crypto, it's real mm. because what ends up happening is. A theory, so um, in normal markets, you have something called um, you have like kind of order books, right? So order books are just basically, you know, you, you, I'm selling, it's like an auction. I'm selling this many. Someone has to buy that. Or, or the, the, in, in the background, it'll just like, they'll, they'll sell it off in pieces, but you won't know in the background. And it gets sold to 40, 100, 400 people or four people or one guy, right? On liquidity pools, most of crypto that's on exchanges is on liquidity pools. And it's, a, it's kind of a teeter-totter where uh, basically the, like, let's just say I have a, I have a hundred coin, I have a um, hundred coins here and a hundred coins here. Let's just say this coin doubles in price. It will sell half of it off and buy up this side to make them both even in dollars. So imagine this goes to $200 and this is still at 100. It will sell off this the profits to buy this one off automatically. So what happens is when Ethereum fucking shoots up 40 times in price, it will drag up all the other coin prices mm. to 80% of what Ethereum did, more or less. And the coins that overperform get the other. So there's kind of a, I call it the 80 20 rub, where it, it's, I've kind of done the math on it. It's more like 70 20, 30, 70 30, but let's, let's, just call it, let's, let's call it 80 20, right? 80% of the coins will get 80% of the gains of Ethereum. The extra 20% of the money gets transferred off to the top coins. It's really, it, it doesn't make sense, but it, 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 like that extra cushion money gets get pushed up. So you have some coins, that's how some coins like Shiba Inu go like this. Got vertical because all this money sloshing around and then boom it shoots up right so as ethereum goes up in price it's a rising tide ethereum and bitcoin shoot up in price then all the everyone gets wealthy at the same time now some of them lag behind a while and then they shoot this is where the traders kind of make money it's like some coins like oh ethereum shot up like this what we're doing is then we sell ethereum buy these coins and then boom these shoot up like this and then we're in this bull market where we're bitcoin and ethereum boom and then the all coins go like this that's and then but but it's but it's going like this yeah it's rising so what ends up happening is that then me who has a bunch of ethereum or bitcoin start going like man i should go buy some of these other coins that are cheaper in price and and then my money trickles into these coins that starts a pump 
And then, then as these coins are going crazy, we're like, oh, let's start buying these little, little micro cap coins. And then the, the, the big players are trickling down. Like I went to Bitcoin Miami, right? Um, it was like a couple months ago. And it's a, it's a Bitcoin only event. These Bitcoiners were not even – like I was at the private parties. There wasn't a single person talking about Bitcoin. Really? All they're talking about is shit coins. You know why? Because they take their Bitcoin. They won't ever say this on YouTube. The the most a maximalist is a guy who's like, "This is my only coin. This is my Christ. Uh -huh. This is my this is my one coin. I'm a Bitcoin maxi. Fuck all their coins." And in private, they're fucking dirty whores. All they're talking about is like the next fucking dirty Sanchez, right? Like they're they're taking their Bitcoin. They're beautiful, luscious, clean, virgin <laughs> Bitcoin and trading in for some fucking dirty whore of an altcoin. And that's all they're talking about. They're not, not, I, I was at Bitcoin. Now one person talked to me about Bitcoin. Really? All of Bitcoin. I'm, I'm walking around. There's fucking more hexagons and Bitcoiners, really. <laughs> but like, they, like we, um, Pulse Chain just launched, which is like this, um, like our version of Ethereum for, for Hex launched. We were like the popular kids there. Everyone was talking to us. Like, oh, you're the Pulse Chain guys. What's up, man? Hey, nice to meet you. Everyone was, being, it was, everyone was really nice. Everyone was really nice. But I did not have one person tell me, buy Bitcoin, Miguel. Wow. Now one person, can you imagine that shit? That is crazy. If, if I meet a person, I'm like telling them, I, I, I'm, I'm coin agnostic. So it's like, I'm like, I, it's almost like I'm telling you be religious, but I'm not telling you what religion, follow the religion for your heart, whatever you like. But I think it's good to be religious, right? That's kind of how I'm like preaching it. Right. And it works a lot better than like these, like you're going to buy Bitcoin now and shit. Like buy Bitcoin, don't buy any of this other bullshit. It's, it's like you hitting, the, you have these fucking Jehovah witnesses like <laughs> knocking at your fucking door. You're yeah. like, fuck this shit. I'm not buying this crap. Right. Versus <laughs> like, Hey dude, like, you know. I think these religions are really cool because you won't be by yourself anymore. And, and like, it's kind of a team sport, so you can make a lot of money. Okay, I'll think about it. Yeah, just pick the team you like. I mean, I don't care. I mean, the NFL is fucking awesome, dude. Dude, yeah, the NFL is pretty fucking cool. You know what? I will. You know what? I'll, fuck it. I'm a Raiders fan now. Cool, dude. Shout XRP, dude, or whatever the fuck. Like, hell yeah, yeah, man. Shout out to you, brother. Thank you, man. And that's the way. And then the amount of people that I've onboarded doing that versus like, you have to get into this coin. If you don't get into this coin, you're a fucking loser. You're a crazy person. And that's the crazy shit about me. So these guys should be like, I, not cute. I, it's just insanity to me. Not one person talked to me about what the entire event was about. I was there for the whole fucking thing. It, it's, it's mind boggling to me. Wow. But they were talking to me about every fucking shit coin you can imagine under the sun. Because that's what they're doing. This is why trickle, like the money flows from somewhere, right? People are buying altcoins and those, but the big money is like we're holding Bitcoin and Ethereum. We're buying it right now. In a year or two years, right? Ethereum could be six thousand, eight thousand, twelve thousand dollars. Probably closer to twenty-five, but let's twenty twenty-five. But like, let's just say we're at eight thousand dollars. Something that I bought for eight hundred dollars is now ten times more valuable. And now I'm taking those coins and buying other coins with it. So my, it's still my eight hundred dollars, but it's eight thousand dollars of value going into like these coins. Right. At the same time, everyone else is having the same idea. And that's what's happened. There's, there's trickle down economics. And then as these coins rise up in price, right? Every other coin is rising in price. People who then bought these coins at dirt cheap, they're up 40, 50, 100 times on their money. And then now they're, they're, they've gone to the point where their altcoin is actually pretty rich and powerful now too. Now they're taking their money and diversifying into other coins. So the money is just... Yeah, yeah. And then... Oh, it's incredible. It's it's like it's it's just it's like fuck. I miss, like it's not it's not like oh I missed out. It's like where's the next one? Right. Because there is going to be a next one until it's over. But during that time, it's the most incredible time. I like the the most incredible time of like my life in crypto. It was in 2017. There the, it was just every day was just in like and not in terms of like the amount of money I made. It was just like. It was like, I've never seen a land of opportunity like that. It was incredible. I, in 21, it was pretty good too. But like, like anyone who was running 2017 will tell you that that was something different. It was, it was the most incredible time ever. Like everything I bought went up every week. I would just have more money. It was un, like godly. Wow. Life change. Like I'm like, like I'm, I'm a, I'm like, uh, I saw the, it's like, I saw the, I saw like, I, I tasted the ambrosia. Yeah, like, it was that crazy. Like I'm talking like a fucking fiend it out like crack yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I it's, love it. it's so in, it's it's insanity. Like to this day, I've never gone that high since. You I, you get in fleeting moments. Like when I when I when I told you I had that like eight figure day. Yep. Or I'd have. I can't even imagine. But it's so incre It's so incredible. A lot of that was kind of like some of it was in hex and other coins. Like some of it was liquid. Some of that for like like some of that like money I had there I couldn't touch it because it was locked up. Okay. But some of it was liquid. And I was able to take, you know, profits on that. But it, but that's what I'm trying to tell you is like those, those times are like, 
euphoric and stuff but this it's also it's like it's this weird thing where like you have to have like a very split personality it's almost like you have to check your portfolio once a month versus like every day but it's so addicting it's hard to do that it's right? hard to do that and this is where self-control comes in and like i've been able to do that but a lot of people have trouble doing it. and this is why like it takes so much of like looking into your character as a you have to know like what's my weaknesses I, I, i'm more like in terms of like you you should be like a more dangerous, the most dangerous person in terms of like, as like a person you're going to like trade against or something is a person who actually knows themselves. It's like, if you know your weaknesses, you're actually a dangerous person because you know your weaknesses. Yeah. That puts you ahead of a lot of people. You, yeah. you could be, you could be less talented than a person, but because you know your weaknesses, yeah. you could beat them. Because yeah. you, the, a very confident person won't think that they, I have no weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, and that's a big, and that's a big sort of thing. Sorry, I'm adding me to talk to you. No, no, no. That was really good. Dude, was... I mean, your fucking poker stories fucking got me on, on a golf, bro. Like, I mean, I, I was like, I want to play blackjack. Right? <laughs>